And you know what, I get it too. I get how frustrating it can be that you, you know, you've got this dream, this really amazing dream that you really want to achieve in your life and you're really not sure how you're going to do it. And that was me when I was, you know, 18, 19, wanting to be, you know, number one tennis player in the world. And I really didn't get to the heights that I wanted to. I did go overseas and play, you know, um, in the sort of the lower ranked um, professional circuit and so on, trying to get points and all of that sort of stuff so I could really make my mark in the world. But, you know, I really struggled. And I really struggled from a mental point of view. and. I kept that um, frustration, disappointment, really up until the age, I'm now 47 recording this video. So up until the, two years ago when I was 45, I really kept that disappointment. Um, it was completely tragic for me. It was a big tragedy for me that I didn't actually achieve what it was that I wanted in my life at that time, becoming you know, a world-class athlete. So there was a lot of frustration, disappointment, um, felt like I wasn't good enough, I felt like I was a failure, all of that type of thing, you know, and it took me uh, from the age of about 20 to the age of about 45 to really come to terms with not achieving that goal. So I spent the next 25 years really being very disappointed in myself.